and Pete, thanks for, for doing this. What was your my pleasure. Uh, Thank you. immediate reaction? What was your immediate reaction when that latest report came out June 22nd? I, I didn't know what to think. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, I was on my way to the airport to go to Cabo, Mexico for, for six days. And uh, I was kind of glad that uh, I, I could get out of town for a week. <laughs> Did you, and going back, 1989, I was a reporter at the time and covered yeah. the initial banishment. And I know it took years later when you admitted that you bet on baseball as a manager. Did you bet on baseball as a player? Well, let me, let me ex uh, first of all, I appreciate your question. I, uh, I appreciate your honesty. Uh, I have to attack it this way, Chris. Uh, uh, I, apply, I applied for reinstatement in February. And uh, when I applied for reinstatement, uh, I promised the commissioner's office the, that I would not comment in anything surrounding my case. Then, up to speed, a month ago, a week ago, a year ago. And uh, I'm going to keep my end of the bargain. And I'm sure that those questions will come about when I meet with the commissioner sometime in August, I hope. And we'll address those. But uh, as of today, uh, speaking to you, and, you know, I would love to talk to you. I'd love to give you all the information. But uh, I'm going to keep my word and, 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 and just uh, keep my comments uh, to no comment, I guess. Do you know? I know as a reporter you don't like that comment. <laughs> but Yeah, but do you think the commissioner, Rob Manford, who is, has agreed to look into this? Oh, well, I, that, that's that another thing. Wait, yeah. I'm just I'm, uh, ecstatic the fact that he's going to review my status. Right. You know, that's something I couldn't get with Mr. Selig. Right. And uh, for Bob, Rob, Rob Bamford uh, to do that is, uh, it, it's, it's heartwarming for me. Do you think he'll, he'll determine a difference if you bet on baseball as a player or I, a manager? I, I don't know. And if you talk about, you know, fans will make up their own mind. But uh, uh, I'm sure that that will be discussed uh, between me and, and the commissioner. And uh, I can tell you that uh, I'll be as honest as I can be with the commissioner of baseball. Uh, not only I respect the office, I respect him as an individual. I love the game. I love the, the, the baseball game, and, and I care about the game. And I ask this respectfully because yeah. initially you didn't comment back when the ban took place in 89, and yep. then 14 years later, around that time, you said, okay, I did bet. As a manager, why should the commissioner believe well, you now? Well, here's what happened back then. Because if, you, if, if you're familiar with the document that, that uh, Bar Giamani and right. I signed, it says in there there'll be no finding that Pete Rowe's been on baseball or no denial on Pete's uh, part. Okay, so I lived up to my end of the bargain there. Then, then all of a sudden, uh, was it 14 years? I don't remember how That's many years about it was. That. Yes. And uh, when I first initiated, when I first in reacted to the situation, I kind of listened to my lawyers tell me what to do. You know, because here I am uh, in my 40s. I got a six-year-old son and a two-year-old daughter. And all of a sudden, I'm out of a job. Uh, they got to eat. How am I going to eat? This is back in the 1980s right. where we, we weren't making uh, five, ten million dollars a year. So it was a, a more of a financial decision. If you love baseball as much as we know, well, you I think did. everybody knows right, that. Right. Why would you? The cardinal rule of no betting. I don't baseball. know. I, I was stupid. I, I, I made mistakes. I mean, uh, but I can tell you, Chris, uh, in the last 25 years, uh, I've cleaned up my act. Um, I've learned from my mistakes. Uh, you know, I try to uh, be a good citizen, you know, pay my taxes, go work hard, uh, talk to a lot of kids, uh, uh, parents. Uh, I got a lot of fans out there and I got a lot of support from, you know, support from guys like Morgan and Bench and Schmidt and Mr. Castellini, which is which is all part of the deal. And 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 I'm real excited about going to the all star game. Right. And being in Cincinnati for an all-star well, game. So at, there's a lot of good things. At the age of 74... I don't look at though, do I? Get, no, you look all right. <laughs> you probably still hit. At the age of 74, though, at a time to get back into baseball, you would have thought, hey, maybe to work as a manager. What would be the primary reason? What's most important about your reinstatement now should well, you get that? I think my grandkids would like that. I got three grandsons and three granddaughters. And What do they, what do they tell, what do you tell they, them about your situation? They love me and they just, uh, you know, I'm always trying to, uh, they're athletes and I'm always trying to help them and, and uh, it would be nice. You know what I was thinking about this here and I, Chris, it would be, it would be great if I was able to go into the Cincinnati clubhouse and go into the cage underneath the stadium and watch the players hit. Oh. I'm not able to do that. You know, I, I, I can sit at the restaurant at the ballpark and you see the cage and you can watch them hit. But uh, that would be nice to do that. But, uh, uh, 
you know, I messed up. I, I really messed up a long, long time ago. I'm not the same person today that I was 35, 30 how, years how ago. What? Well, yeah, I got to, I keep my nose clean. I mean, I don't, uh, you, don't, I know you, you, don't you, you, you don't ever read about me being in any kind of trouble. So. Uh, you know, I just work hard and, and uh, provide for a lot of people and, and, and constantly sell the game of baseball. I love the game of yeah, baseball. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky to be able to, to be here with Fox where they can put me in the living room every night of people to talk positive about the game of baseball and, and, and hopefully give them a good report and an honest report and th uh, different things like that. Yeah, when you say you pay your taxes, I mean, people remember back then you served some time yeah. for, for a tax situation. I underpaid my taxes right. by three and a half so percent. You cleared, you, you, you know, you paid your dues there. You did say on the Michael K program back in a radio show back in April yeah. that you did bet, on, uh, but not as a player. You, you did say it at that time. Well, there again, that, that's another thing that I'm sure I'm going to discuss with the commissioner, okay, and uh, did you do you have we can sit here all day, Chris, and 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 we can analyze it from different angles, and uh, I have to I have to keep declining uh, answering the question. I, uh, I apologize for no, that, no, no, I, but I think you understand. I think you understand when you're when you're about to uh, uh, to meet with the guy who runs baseball. Right. Uh, in, in, in reality, he's my boss. Right. You know, I'm not even in baseball, but. Mr. Manfred is my boss right now because he's the guy in charge of baseball and I'm the guy trying to get back into baseball. So, uh, and I would want to get back into baseball strictly as someone who can help players become better players. Right. What will you tell the commissioner when you sit across from him face to face? Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm, you know that he will I'm, have I'm, research. I'm, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to, I'm going to do the same thing with you. The only difference He's going to ask questions, and I'm going to answer them. You're going to have to answer them. I, well, and, it's not that I have to. I want to. Right. Okay. It's, not, it's not a matter I have to answer the questions, but and I know he's going to do his homework. If he, I, right. He had to research if he, if he asked for an appeal, in a sense, or a review. So he's going to go back into the past, and fine. you're comfortable with that. right? Well, Whatever. I have to be because so, uh, that was part of my past. That's I, only... I, I hope he goes back the last 25 years. Right. You know, right. not 30 years ago, you know, not back yep. in the 1980s. I hope he goes to the 90s or the 2000s or, or 2012, 13, 14, 15. So, you know, because I'm a pretty clean-cut guy. And, and do you feel, have you heard from the commissioner's office since this report came out? And, and you haven't met face-to-face -face yet with Rob Manfred. No. Uh, the person my people have contacted uh, with, and he's a great guy, is Mr. McHale. And okay. I, I played for his dad. He's the one to sign me to a Montreal. Contract. So you haven't you haven't talked to, to, to Commissioner Rob Manford face to face. No, yet. I wish. No. I, you know, I hope to. I hope to meet him at the All Star Game. Okay, so it's the first time you've met or will meet. Oh no, I yeah. I watch him on okay. a daily basis. And and, <laughs> and when do you think your meeting is taking place? August. Uh, I hope. Yeah. Uh, I hope August because you don't want to get in the the September because that's getting too close to the playoffs and right. in the World Series. There's always something going on in baseball, but. Uh, Hey, I'm the type of guy, my phone's always on. If I get the call, You're going. I'll be on the next and plane. You would admit to him, player or manager, betting on Everything baseball? Everything I did, I would admit my whole past Wrong. to him. And, and you'll deal with that. Do you ever yeah. feel like you had a gambling issue or issue with gambling? Uh, well, I never, I never uh, bet out of my means. But when you lose a job and you lose credibility like I did, you have to think there was a problem. So, but that was, uh, that's, that's water under the bridge. All right. I appreciate your time. Thanks for answering the questions. You're tough. All right. Uh, well, no. <laughs> these are the questions people have been asking I'm just for years. Kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah, okay. I get, you're a good man. I look forward to talking baseball with you a little bit later. Right, and we'll have some fun.